Hey, what's up coaches? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna be on the whiteboard here and I'm going to break down how to take your training business. If you are a skills trainer, if you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to have a six figure business, watch this video. I'm gonna teach you how to do this piece by piece. Make sure you're taking notes, make sure you're paying attention and let's dive right in. All right, now as you can see here, we have path to 100K per year. And from my experience, right, there are three things that we need to pay close attention to when you're looking to grow your business to 100,000 or more per year. Now, the first is the average client duration. Now, what this means is you need to be able to track across all of your clients, on average, how long do they stay in your program? Now, if you're getting paid cash, Venmo, uh, check, any of that stuff, it's going to be very hard for you to track that. So this is why I've always talked about on this channel, why you need to have an automated payment system so you can actually like log in, see when people pay, see how long they're in your program. And you need to know that number across the board. So every client that you have, you need to see how long they're in your program. And what I see is, Coaches that can extend the average duration of their client make way more money than coaches who don't do that. Because if you have clients sign up for like packages of sessions or they're coming in and they're coming out of your business, that is not, in my opinion, that's not a real client. That's someone who's just casually training with you. They're not getting the best results they could. So you want clients that are committed for six months up to a year. A lot of the coaches that we work with, they have clients that stay with them for years. So the average client duration that they have is probably 12 month minimum, right? So when you understand that number on your end, when you increase that, right, by maybe six months or a year, automatically your business makes more money, right? So how are you retaining your clients? How are you billing them? How are you making sure that they're enjoying your program, that they stay and they refer other people that are like-minded? That is number one, we have to dial in, what is the average duration per client? So the next is average client value. That means over the course of 12 months, how much did this client pay across the board? So this way we have an average amount of what each customer pays. And when you know what that amount is, then the math is there. You can realize, all right, if I wanna make $8,333 per month, which is how much you need to make to make $100,000 per year, all right, then you know how many clients you need to have based off of the average number of how much your clients are actually paying you, all right? Now, this is why it's important to actually dig deep into the numbers in your business so you can see across the board, all right, here's exactly how much these clients are paying over the course of the year. And I think that number might shock you. You might see some clients are paying you only a couple hundred dollars. You might see some clients have paid you thousands of dollars. You have to be able to track that number. And when you know what that number is and you know what this looks like, the duration, all right? As long as you increase those, all right? You automatically make more money without adding any clients, right? And that's the kind of crazy thing about this business is you might have, you know, 10 to 50 clients right now. If, and you might be thinking, well, I have to add clients to make more money. Well, the reality is, you might just need to keep your clients in longer to make more money, right? And that's why if you have a client that stays with you for six months or a client that stays with you for 12 months, making twice as much money if they're staying with you for 12 months, right? And that way you're not having to replace customers all the time. And lastly here, this is kind of a little bit more in depth, but you need to understand what are the average sales that you make per month, per week, and per day. Now, in our program that we have, we have like a map where coaches fill it out and they understand all of these metrics. So they know when they look at their day, they're like, all right, here's how many sales calls I need to make. And here's how many sales calls I need to make per month, per week, and per day to hit this goal, right? This goal here comes down to math. It's purely math because when you understand how long your clients are in your program and we have that dialed in and that number goes up, all right, we understand how much people pay and 
if they're in your program longer, all right, they're going to end up paying you more, all right? Or if you just raise your pricing, all right, they're gonna end up paying you more, all right? Next is how many sales calls do you actually have? How many are you making? And from there, what's the percentage of those people that become clients? Now, when you reverse engineer this process, all right, let's say you start here. If you know you have, let, let's just say your goal is to make $100,000, all right? And let's say this number here, the average client value is 2,000, which is less than, uh, it's less than $200 per month, all right? Here. And let's say your client stay with you for 12 months. Well here, all right, when I look at this number, that means I need to close around one person per week into the program to make $8,333 per month, all right? Because I just did the math there. If I have one close here per week, which is so doable, all right? A lot of coaches that we work with, they, they can close way more than one person per week, all right? Then when we say, come here and we say, all right, they're gonna pay $2,000 per year, great. All right, during for a year, the math works out to where you can make that amount. Now, I know a lot of coaches that have way more than 40 or 50 clients that don't make a hundred thousand dollars per year, they make a lot less, and it's because they're not organized with these three metrics here. So, my goal for you is I want you to get dialed in with these metrics here. If you want to learn how to take your business to the next level and you want real help with this. Send me a text at this number right here. It's going to pop up on the screen. I'd love to sit down, chat with you on a Zoom call, learn more about your business, and show you how to get to this level and beyond. That's it. See you later.